Hmm. I thought I smelled something nasty. I found this in our hideout. Uh, the host is card! Uh, boss, that's... Quite immoral, you guys. Which one of you... Uh, boss? Melon, we're having hot pot today. I think one of us wanted to use our new reputation as an excuse to fool around. If you want, I could help you find out there who- There are many kinds of female scents, but only two types. The sense of a grown-up female and a young female. Do you know why? Because females change as they grow up. They become love monsters, which is why I hate the scent of this grown-up female. It's the scent of my maman. Mama? Whenever I catch a whiff of this scent, I remember. Did you buy them for me? The green onions? That sickly sweet voice. And the room adorned in flower patterns and lace. Mama made the apartment room we lived in look like a castle. Thanks for getting them for me. I can't go outside as much as I'd like to. This apartment is filled with mean neighbors, you know. Have they done anything to make you feel bad? <laughs> Did you know? The female leopard and the gazelle boy is always wearing a mask? Our mother and son! What? What about the gazelle husband? The word is, she predated him. What? Huh? No way! But despite all the gossip, Mama never told me anything about my missing Papa. And I never told Mama that I was getting bullied in school for being a hybrid. We were not allowed to speak our minds in our room. This was the bizarre fairy tale world that Mama made, and we lived in it, like it was a stage prop built for a mother and son. It's nice that you're not picky. It's just that meat and vegetables don't taste like anything to me. It was all very dull, but I wanted to think that Mama's love for me, you've cut food on your face, was the only thing in our room that was real. Whenever she would call my name, Melon, with her feline spine covered, grater-like tongue, it would always come out as a sweet trill. I liked it when Mama called me by my name. It made me feel that I wasn't a hybrid, that I wasn't a carnivore, or an herbivore, that I was simply Melon, myself. Today, we will be talking about morals. The name is the first sign of love every parent gives to their child. That's why everyone's name is very meaningful. When you all get home, please ask your parents for the origin of your names and write it on a piece of paper. This is your homework and it's due on Friday. Okay! Melon! Is your silly name supposed to mean anything? Tell us! I bet your mom named you Melon because she likes melon bread. She's the kind of female who got a kid from a gazelle after all. Your mommy isn't right in the head. I wanted to kill him. How would Mama have reacted if I killed the who insulted her? I thought about it for a few seconds, but I couldn't find an answer, even though I was her own son. But what? You're creepy. Let's get out of here. <laughs> the name is the first sign of love every parent gives to their child. Mama? Yes? I learned about morals today, and I got a homework assignment for name origins. Why did you decide to name me Melon? <laughs> Melons, you see, are not fruits, nor vegetables, but they still taste good. You are not a carnivore, nor an herbivore. But I still want you to live a life that's as sweet as melons. That is my wish that signifies your name. That was the first time. These clothes. That my mama talked about my status as a hybrid. They're burnt. And yet, she had still insisted on using that fairy tale tone of hers. And I couldn't forgive her for that. Mama, this is reality. My life is a hybrid. It's nothing but reality. I know. Because you have your papa's eyes, and I love them very much for it. I love those frightened eyes, and that frail body. They are the very essence of an herbivore's beauty. 
You remind me of your papa's flavor, which I love so much. Melon. Mama's sweet trill. The grater on her feline tongue wasn't meant for calling her son by his name. They were meant for scraping meat off the bone. <coughs> In truth, I always knew it. You were always a maiden in love, Mama. When I destroyed Mama, who was always crazy, along with our stupid room, I felt that our room had become normal for once. Ah, oh, that's right. I forgot to clarify one of Mama's misunderstandings. I don't think I take after Papa. I very much take after Mama. Hello? Is this the police? Someone just broke into our house. Even after I killed Maman, she never lost that smile of hers. Well, Agata, it's a nice story, isn't it? Yes. Why is he now telling us his past with his mother? It might be fake for all we know. Wait, would Melon really make up such a story for us? Even if he was just feeling emotional from catching a scent that reminded him of his mother's. This all seems too convenient. If you know all about my plan to kill you today, then what am I supposed to do? That making a subordinate eat nothing but melon and killing Dolph, our comrade for the turf war. We won't take it anymore. We're having a whisker divination. Yeah. Our whiskers will point to the guy who will kill melon. It's settled. This again? You don't have to do that divination stuff. I'm the youngest one here. I'll do it. Dawson was good to me. Uh, Agata, I'm proud of you. Agata, you're the pride of the Shishigumi. Oh, crap. I'm nervous. Hot. I'm getting sweaty. I always feel this way in times like these, but I really want to trim my mane. <laughs> it's hot in here. So why do we even have these grandiose manes in the first place? They're meaningless decorations. They're just hot and annoying. And that wouldn't be a problem if they actually made us strong. Amusing ourselves with divinations and gambling while relying on our feline supernatural senses. That's how male lions really are. What's wrong, Agata? Uh, You're acting really strange right now. Uh, 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 that's right. We male lions have suffered so much from these words. When I was a cub, I was nominated to be a class rep even though I didn't have the best grades. Meanwhile, at home, my mother had a lot more authority than my father, and she ruled the household like a fearsome tyrant. As an act of rebellion, I turned delinquent and, despite my unimpressive strength, got myself a few followers. I kept walking into the path of evil to find out that even in the back alley market, male lions are feared. I started to talk to them and found out that we had similar roots. They were the Shishigumi. These kings of beasts were complaining about things that they would never tell any other species. And I sympathized with them. Dawson paid special attention to me since I was the youngest. Agata. Yes! You're gonna go through a lot of hardship with your hair color. Growing up lions are said to be stronger the darker the color is. You're gonna attract a lot of jealousy. <laughs> Give me a break. This color is just something I got from my family. Being a lion is such a pain. Well, just be sure you don't trim your mane. Take good care of it till the time comes when it'll suit you best. Every male lion, from the day he's born, wants to look good in a mane and become a true king of beasts. Dolph, son. If I don't avenge you now, my mane will stay a suffocating decoration for the rest of my life! Even though it was to win the turf war, you still killed one of our precious comrades. The Shishigumi needed a lot of blood at the time, right? You think a practical guy like me has no right to be the boss? Are you thinking of throwing this melon out? Hmm? He's so scary! This male who only weighs about 50 kilograms is unbearably scary! That's what I thought during Meat Loving Day. Melon is a demon that fits just right in the back alley market. Ever since then, more animals in the back alley market are starting to worship the Shishigumi and Melon. Ah, I see. He's the offspring of a carnivore and an herbivore. He's a genuine 
king of... Pardon me. Huh? Dolph is back from his two-week vacation. Uh, 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 Dolph! Your neck! dolph son? Boss, it doesn't seem our bodies are weak enough to let you cut through our necks with your frail strength. Our manes aren't just for show. You are a complete villain, and our bodies are that of the kings of beasts. Let's make up. Let's rebuild the Shishigumi. I understand now. We can endure your cruelty. I was sure I put my knife very deep into your neck. Not bad. As proof of our newfound friendship. I'll use a saw next time. Dawson. Be sure not to trim your mane. Not until I become a king of beasts in the back alley market with Melon. Whether it's a saw or a chainsaw, my mane can take it. Boss. Now, isn't this a surprising reunion? To think you try to settle things with me in front of all these residents. You're not doing this for attention, are you? <clears throat> this is an abandoned construction site. The back alley market used to care about repairing buildings and paving roads. But now, as you can see, they don't care about any of that. And I'm taking charge of this sorry back alley market. Do you still got any grievances? Aww. Then we can just fight right here, right now. Our third fight. No holds barred. Stop! Huh? Today's the day when we decide who's participating, not the day when we hold the turf war. If you want to fight, then please save your bloody maiming for the turf war. Huh? I didn't expect you guys to be so formal, with your lack of panic and all. I assure you, we had the best of intentions. These are just leftovers anyway. It's been so long since we had a new participant. Are you serious? This is so lame. Huh? The rules are simple. These two have to answer several questions that go over common animal society knowledge. Melon-san, the current leader, and Legoshi-san, his challenger, are going to face each other. If Legoshi-san wins, he'll get to participate in meat-loving day. But if he loses, he'll be skewered by the iron spit above him huh? and taken to the fryer. And then he'll be sold in the back alley market as today's young wolf special. This is quite a severe punishment, Legoshi-san. So if you want to turn and tail, now's the time! Uh, it's your call. I can win this, obviously. I've got social experience. Uh, less than a year's worth. Question number one. How much is the starting fare for a bird taxi? 520 yen if the passenger is under 3 kilograms. Otherwise, it's 720 yen. Correct! Next question. What is the basic dress code for a turtle? They should have at least a collar. It's okay, even if they are technically naked otherwise. Correct! Next question! What is the first entry of eating insects agreement? It's okay to eat insects, because unlike us, they can communicate. Correct! What? Insects can communicate, you know! Participants should only focus on the quiz. Keep your personal opinions to yourself. We are currently down by three points. <sighs> Melon, I hate to admit it. But you're pretty good. Feel the taste of evil. And here's the next question. Please describe the feelings expressed by the tails in these four pictures. Here, from left to right, are determination, stomach ache, fast cleanup, and I missed the drama from yesterday morning. All four correct. Four points to you. What? He's a canine. Giving him a tail language question. Isn't that just too convenient? Keep your personal opinions to yourself. <laughs> All right, it's four to three. My skewer punishment is being pushed further back. It's a bit too unfair. Very well! You only get one point! That's too harsh! What the heck? Why does he look so excited? If that wolf loses, he'll be scared, right? His balls will be made of steel. You should know the greed of the have-nots. A hybrid like me has devoted his life to studying multi-species ecology and the social structure. I could put a naive wolf like you to hell in one shot. This quiz showdown is a test for my life before confronting Melon. I have to focus. It sure feels good to answer correctly. That's what quizzes are for. Uh, I didn't mean that. I want to grow up and learn more things. I really mean it. I also want to learn more about you. Oops! <clears throat> Melon. You really are naive as hell. That's it. No more showdown. Just let this guy join the turf war. Thank you, Melon. 
Rather than being skewered and die in this place, I'll have you die properly in despair by my hand on that day. December 25th, you must definitely come. Of course, but by the way, thank you. It's the tail language of determination. Hello, BBQ restaurant? The wolf skewer order is canceled. Just now, what's that noise? noise. Hmm. Sounds like heaven is calling you, Legoshi. <gasps> Don't forget, this is a battle to the death. After all, you won't kill me, but I'll kill you. Because I am the, the embodiment, embodiment of this world's hate. hate. <sighs> hey, Legoshi, the audience has grown. Let's kill each other properly. This is not a battle to the death. This is a turf war. Uh, who? Who the heck are you? Louis. Can you still stand up? Sorry I'm late. Look around you. Carnivores and herbivores are standing side by side. This is not the same back alley market everyone used to know. We've changed it! If such thing as a world-changing moment really exists, then... Let's end this. Melon. <laughs> Starting tonight, carnivores and herbivores will be on good terms. And by destroying the back alley market, they can settle this by promising not to become the eaters and the eaten. Really? Just like that? Hey everyone, let's have a picnic! Bear son, tiger son, chick son, rabbit son, Let's go! There's a weird smell around here, isn't there? It used to be the back alley market. Oh, that's right. Well then, this bloody smell is... <laughs> it's the smell of herbivore blood, meat, and tears. The scent is still lingering, you know. Yeah, but that was a long time ago. Now we're good friends, so grab your juice and cheer. Like that? People talking innocently in the near future- You suck at this! Huh? Melon, you... You never enjoyed a good talk with anyone, have you? Even though you're ad-libbing, you really suck at this. Uh. One day, in this place, and what will be left of the back alley market, maybe carnivores and herbivores will meet each other. Um, and maybe someone will recognize the smell and start a quarrel. And everyone will be looking frantically for words to argue with each other. And they'll become too immersed in the present to care about the lingering smell of the back alley market. Usually when they're too focused on talking, their keen sense of smell will be dulled. Maybe the future world won't change much. But if times like that are more common, maybe someday you and I <sighs> this isn't even your story, Legoshi. It's fine, though. A hybrid like me dying here would leave a sour taste in your mouth. After all, even masterpieces can have disturbing endings. Stop. 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 Stop! This wasn't how I intended to settle things between us, Legoshi. I always carry this one with me. A gun with two bullets. Do you know why specifically two bullets? Because you need two bullets to kill a hybrid. Just one more shot. I'll shoot you if you try to stop me. Melon! Legoshi! Get out of the way, louis -san. I'm done watching my loved ones die in front of me! But I don't want to see Melon die! I'm not gonna let you die, Melon! Grant... <gasps> Looks like the night has finally ended. But... What the heck led up to this? Hey, pull yourself together! We're almost there, Melon! Melon! Gramps, shut the heck up. I'm trying to sleep. That's why I have to keep talking to you! Don't die on me, Melon! <laughs> You're checking on me, huh? 
Just let me rest in peace for once. Well, in that case... Try not to die in front of everyone next time. At last, the source of all the mayhem, the root of evil, has finally fallen. Meanwhile, the four of us who witnessed this, not one of us wagged our tail. Unlike Gosha, I didn't mean to treat Legoshi like a child. But in that moment, I felt I had to take action as an adult. Something a teenager should never experience is the feeling of a life fading on their own back. There's no signal. I can't call an ambulance. Maybe it's because of the power outage from earlier. If you need anything, just call me. We'll escort the others home. Hey. Looks like they beat me, huh? That duo? Duo? I mean, that ragged and uneven duo. I've caught countless criminals, but I've never heard someone pouring their heart out like him. Feels weird. Gramps. You think carnivores and herbivores can truly coexist like those two? If they can, then why did I have to fall victim to this vicious cycle? First my mother falls in love with my father to the point of eating him alive. Then I grow up to be so scared of my mother that I end up killing her. <laughs> I'm sure Papa is in heaven, still running from Mama to avoid getting eaten. Melon, your voice sounds just like your father's. I just wasn't prepared for a relationship with the carnival. Morning has come. Right now, Melon, I am unafraid to tell a lie under the sunlight. I'm sure your mama and papa are getting along just fine. At that moment, I felt like a true B-star. Great work today. Melon. Hey. Melon? <coughs> Melon. You know, your pity means nothing to me. You think that this Melon has neither friends nor lovers. Would turn evil just because of family issues. Truth is, I chose this evil path myself. And it's got no room for pity. Uh, huh? As expected, herbivore meat doesn't have much of a taste. Like the cows never stay.